as Australians on this land that is that was the seed of of all lands. Yeah. Like how can we connect to to this country in a deeper way and start to start to bridge that gap more and more because I see that a lot which, which in what you do between the original people of this land yeah because there is still that and we all feel it yeah. and it's there and, um, and it feels it feels difficult for both sides to to still really um, have that union yeah well you know there's a lot of pain um, that um, is completely understandable on both sides, you know, there's, Australia's very stiff, the, the, um, the settlement that became um, the colony of Australia came from a rigid background, it came from a background that was completely opposite to, to what was here in the first place, so um, I think the biggest problem in society, Australian society, in terms of people connecting back to culture, back to um, to what it is we all love about this place, which is, you know, on a human element, it's a huge part of the spirit of, of our people that we're here forever. I think the biggest problem is the ego. And when I say ego, you know, a lot of people, um, ego is used often you know, as a word for self-inflation, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about ego being our sphere that surrounds us that, um, you know, is the thing that is the balloon of all of our emotions that, you know, can hinder us sometimes from the root of our journey. And uh, in a place where, you know, there's been a lot of conservative um, guidelines laid down for society, um, people's ego goes crazy because you know everyone that might be good at heart has this I guess balloon of shit that they have to carry around because of conditioning over time religious conditioning you know government conditioning that says um, yeah that's okay but you know and I think that it's just about dropping that and realizing you know it's nobody's fault. There's no. It doesn't matter what has happened, um, you know, in the in your present day. And it's okay to not know anything about culture. It's okay to not know any blackfellas. It's okay to come from the background that we come from. Um, and it's okay for everybody to set it aside um, and to to communicate. You know. Um, I think that in my time traveling around, the biggest thing you know you see, and and I feel very sorry for whitefellas in this country because a lot of people have these beautiful big hearts that they want to they want to embrace and they want to share and they want to understand culture, but there's this conditioning that keeps them afraid to open up to that, you know. Whereas in, in some respects. Um, you know, it's it's easier for for black fellas to stand up and go, right, this is my story because that, you know my story is clear and it's drawn in the sand and this is what's happened. Um, whereas sometimes for white fellas, it's harder to overcome that hurdle that that um, that has sort of really come from nowhere, but conditioning that keeps that that block, you know between the cultures. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you know, I think the ego is a big problem. But it's slowly, you know, that's been broken down. There's been some progress in this country. It's not all, it's not all doom and gloom, you know. The beautiful part about this country is that culture's still very strong. A lot of spirit in this land, you know. Our people have been devastated and that, we all know that, but, um, People are strong, you know, real strong. Yep. Um, and and that spirit that's been here forever is still very, very strong. Whereas other places that you go, and unfortunately, you can feel that that spirit has been 
yeah. really, um, really pushed out of the land. Because mm. in this country, it's everywhere, you know, and it, it feeds all of us. Doesn't matter. You could be the most racist person <laughs> in the in the country, and you can stand in a special spot, and spirit will pass through you just like it passes <laughs> through anyone else. Yeah. Because you know it doesn't. There is no. All those laws, all those, all that ego, all that conditioning doesn't exist in that spirit world, you know. And as people start to understand more about um, the spirit of places, as people start to to learn the story of land, and even if that story of land's been lost or or, or, or stolen or forgotten, um, the land always speaks. So, you know, it gets pieced together. Mm. And that's happening, you know, around our, our country. It's, it's happening and, and um, you know, blackfellas are really um, starting to be able to rebuild broken pieces, you know, from, from families that, you know, where, where culture was taken completely. They're being, you know, everyone's able to, to assist each other in putting those pieces together. And it's quite powerful because it, it's, you know, for the first time, you know, there's there's a real sense of unity, I think, yeah. between people. And, and you know, it's not happening in the government. Let's <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> but on a street level, you know, people are being guided by spirit. It's like, it's, you know, there's no question of it. And yeah. it's strong. And it's beautiful. And it's um, it's not about race, you know. It's people working together to um, identify the spirit of, of the country and and what needs to be respected and what needs to be given back. And you know, daily you, you see that growing. So it's 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 cool, you know. It's it, you know to a point to me, it's like growing culture, you know, because mm. it's not really everyone has red blood. There's an old old auntie in Tassie who said to me years ago, um, you know, and people ask me, um, what's my bloodline? She said, I always say, red, <laughs> you know? And I thought that was, you know, yeah. really beautiful. Yeah. Like, we all got red blood, you know? And, and this division that sometimes, for some reason, has been such a huge part of human culture for so long, in so many places, um, is only really destructive. It doesn't do any good. Yeah. You know. So that that sense of like, you know, culture here was devastated. Culture in a lot of places was devastated. But that sense of being able to grow culture from that point of being squashed now to spreading the wings through people who who may not have a blood connection but are open and, and, and ready to be guided. Um, it's growing. And it's beautiful. It's, it's yeah. awesome. It's, you know, exciting. It's, a, it's a good time. Yeah. It's a cool time. You know. <laughs> Obviously, there's other things going on in our world. Probably aren't so cool. <laughs> but you know, on that level, it's good. And, yeah. and in this country, I think you know we should all have hope. Um, you know, and we should all all be proud too. Sometimes, you know, like because there's always a lot of talk of, of the devastation and you know and the sad sad parts. And yeah, that's there. But, you know, there's also still a lot of hope and you've got to feed that too, you know. Um, I remember one uh, uncle in, our Cree Nation chief said to me once in, in Canada, as you grow doing the good work of the grandmothers and grandfathers, evil will grow alongside you. And, you know, that's the balance of life, you know. It'll always be there. It has to be there. For the other mm-hmm. to exist, as things become powerful, things there's always that other yin and yang sort of scenario, um, and that's in everything, you know. So, um, as much as we focus on the sadness, also we need to focus on on the hope, you know. And these days we have the ability to because there's a lot of hopeful things going on, <laughs> so it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. Mm. Oh, mm. Awesome. Yeah, nice to have you on. Follow the sun In which way the wind blows When this day is done